I'm Becky Kelly. I'm the president of the Washington Environmental Council. We've been working on Washington's most important environmental issues for over 45 years. The problems we're facing right now, climate change, pollution in Puget Sound, more oil trains, sustaining our forests in the 21st century. These are big, challenging issues. One of the big fights WEC is engaged in right now is the Stand Up to Oil campaign to prevent increased oil transportation through the Northwest. It's a battle being fought from Spokane to Skagit Valley, Grays Harbor to Vancouver. Crude oil has been found to be dangerous, the explosions, the fires, I mean it would be devastating. I mean it's all risk to the harbor and to those that are employed here. That's one thing to really fight for. There are many, many people who see what's going on and are willing to work for it. The statewide coalitions mean an awful lot to us, and so I know I feel less alone than we used to. We can't protect Puget Sound if we increase the number of oil tankers traversing its waters. One of the biggest threats to the health of Puget Sound is polluted stormwater runoff. So stormwater is inherently a local problem. We have to be out in those cities and towns, partnering with local governments and working on projects to clean that water up. WEC has been working to get more state dollars for green infrastructure projects. Using natural processes to clean up stormwater makes all the sense in the world. This really is a, a, a smarter, more sustainable approach to stormwater infrastructure in an urban area. And it has all these side benefits as aesthetics. I would say there's a lot of bang for your buck for stormwater treatment from looking at urban areas and retrofit situations. I've worked on forests for much of my career at WEC. More than half of Washington is forest land. It's a big responsibility, but it's also a big opportunity. There are terrific partners around the state, like the Nisqually Land Trust, who are working in their area to protect and restore forests. What a carbon credit project does basically rewards a landowner for growing trees that sequester carbon. What our project represented was a carbon project that you could walk around on. A carbon project in your backyard for Microsoft. So we hope that it not only benefits us immediately here, but generates the future development of carbon projects. Healthy forests can help fight climate change by pulling carbon pollution out of the air. The Alliance for Jobs and Clean Energy is Washington's broad coalition working to fight climate change and transition us to a clean energy economy. I'm so excited to be working at the Alliance table because Around that table, I see the partners who I think really are going to help forge a better future for Washington State. I'm a, a union rep, and that's my job, but I'm also a mother. And so that aspect of having clean air for my kids is important. I'm also you know, a person of color and making sure that unrepresented communities actually have a voice. With a coalition, we don't have to carry the weight by ourselves anymore. Um, solidarity is truly the cornerstone of change and we all can bring what we have and make this beautiful puzzle because our pieces all match and intertwine together and without your piece, mine doesn't matter. We're honored to have so many amazing partner organizations across the state, but we're just as honored to have the support of individuals. People like you who support Washington Environmental Council and who take action to protect Washington's environment and to make our state a better, more equitable place.